Okay, now we're going to show you how to cook the lobster the right way, which I believe a lot of people out there don't know the correct way of cooking a lobster. A lot of people boil their lobster in fresh water. We're going to take Nova Scotia Steamer's Pure Seawater, which is going to make the salt content perfect and make these babies taste great. And you're going to fill it, like I say, about quarter full. So you're going to pour it in. And you're going to take about half that bottle or so. I'd say a little less than quarter. You're going to be right about there. You're going to have that much lobster water in there for your lobster. So now we're going to take it, we're going to put it on the stove. Turn the burner on maximum or high. And we're going to cover that so that gets going. Meanwhile, one of the most important things that you're going to do here, which I believe most people don't do, is we're going to remove these bands. Just think of it this way. If you were cooking potatoes or corn or carrots, would you take rubber bands and put in and boil them with it? Of course not. Most people would leave these bands on because maybe they're scared to take them off, scared they're going to get their hands bit, but we're going to show you a perfect way to do this. If you're a little scared, you get two people. One person holds the claw like this, and the other claw like this, and the other person is going to take these off. Now if you're by yourself and you want to take these off, what you can do, and it's very easy, is you're going to take your hand and you're going to squeeze these up like this. And you're going to hold this up close and you're going to squeeze some claws together. And you're going to take this and you're going to just take the band off like that. That way, look, you can't get at you. And you just take the other one and you take it off. I'm going to go over here before this gets boiling too much. And you're going to put that right in the pot. And you're going to take the other one. And you're going to do the same thing. You're going to squeeze these claws. You're going to hold it like up around the eyes. Squeeze these together so they can't do nothing. And you're going to take the band off like that. And then take the other band off like that. Or... If you don't feel comfortable doing that, your band's on there, say your band was on. You can always take scissors and cut them off, which is very easy. I'm going to take this, put it in there nice, that, we're going to cut it, and then we're going to fold it. Excuse me, and then we're going to follow the cooking directions on www.steamersseawater.com. It's going to give you all the different times and directions for cooking your lobster. Which, roughly a pound and a half to two pounds, you're looking at about 15 to 20 minutes from a rapid boil. And when this gets going on a rapid boil, we'll show you what we mean by a rapid boil, more or less a steam. Okay, so now we got the lobster starting to get into a more of a rapid boil considered a steam. The way you know that is you can see the water starting to come up around there. So now is when you want to start your timing. Cover it back up and uh, start your timing. Which is great if you got a little clock like this. We're going to set for 15 minutes. And start. Okay, now we're at a good steam, and this is what you want your uh, lobster to uh, be steaming at. If you look in the pot, you can see it steaming up around. I'll take it off quick. See? Perfect. Boil it down and put it back on. At this point, you want to kind of pay pretty close attention to your pot and uh, make sure it doesn't boil over or steam over. And if it does, you just Turn that back a bit, but don't you know pay very close attention because if you turn it back too much, you're going to lose your rabbit boil and it's going to change everything. We'll show you this one more time because it's really doing a good job. See how red that's turning and all the water's getting up around there and the salt going to make a very tasty lobster, the best you ever had. As you can see, I still got this uh, pretty much right on high. I turn it back to uh, nine instead of max. It's uh, boiling very rapidly, very hard steam. Um, I believe I can leave it right on that. It, it's, it's coming up over a bit, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just adjust it back to about eight and a half. 
And if it does boil over, look, you can just take the top off and leave it go down and maybe just crack it a little bit. As you can see, we're like three, four minutes away from uh, finishing these. They're still on a, if you can come in here a little bit, they're still on a nice rapid boil steam. Looking good, tasting good, no bands, no rubber. Perfect. Make sure you take the bands off again because this is what is going to make a difference and the key is having that salt water. So here we are patiently waiting for the lobsters to uh, get done because we're waiting to taste some really good lobsters. A beep! And that could be the beautiful sound of our lobsters being cooked. So we shut this off. Another thing too, you don't want to leave your lobster set in the heat. It can, it can end up making your meat a little bit more mushy. And another thing that I wanted to add to this, if your lobster is dead before you do cook your lobster, seven times, maybe six times out of ten, your, your meat can get really mealy and mushy. So that's another key why you want to keep your lobster alive until you put it into the pot. So we'll turn this off. Okay, so we're gonna dump uh, the rest of the lobster here. I'm gonna turn it off. It's been on for a good uh, 15 minutes. I like having it done for 15 minutes because also it gets the body done inside, which we like the body. A lot of people don't, but don't be scared to try it. Other things are good to try, and you might enjoy it. And for the price you pay for lobster, you want to get the most out of it as possible, which I'm gonna show you how to get the absolute most out of the lobster that you probably have never seen done before. Okay. So dump that out, be careful not to burn yourself, and leave them cool for roughly, you know, five minutes. 